Want to perform a quick measurement on IDA6? Here's how you do it. Start by turning the IDA6 on and connect your infusion pump to one of the channels. When everything is set up, go ahead and press the measure button on the home screen. On the measurement screen you get to choose what type of measurement you want to do. A flow and volume measurement. An occlusion test. Or bolus and PCA. Let's go for a flow and volume measurement. We can easily enter the set values that we want to use and evaluate against for the test. Let's set 1 to control the volume delivered from the infusion pump. 25 milliliters with a limit of plus minus 5%. The IDA6 is set to automatically start when flow is detected and to end when flow ends. After pressing the run button, the IDA6 is prepared and waits for the flow to begin. Let's set the same set values on the infusion pump and start the infusion. As soon as the infusion pump delivers a flow, the IDA6 starts the measurement and values starts populating on the screen. Let's speed up to see what happens when the test completes. When all is done, we get the final result. A pass. If you want to complete the measurement and store the result, press the procedure icon in the top right corner to get to the test completion screen. Here we see the final result of the measurements and have the possibilities of adding asset ID, work order ID, notes, as well as signing the test for approval. When all is OK, press the complete button and everything is saved to the device. When saved, the result can be found in the results list available from the main menu. If you are registered to 1QA and use Wi-Fi connection, the result is automatically synced to the cloud. And that is how easy it is to measure with IDA6.